Welcome to East Sussex Biker and it's a Monday morning the 19th of August and we're heading to Billingshurst for a breakfast. Have you got your phone with you? Uh -huh. Okay. Here we go. So we're off to Billingshurst, there's a cafe that way, um, and the plan was to go for breakfast. <laughs> so I genuinely haven't had any breakfast. I think we're starting from Crowborough in East Sussex. It's a Monday morning, and uh, Ron and I, I didn't know if anybody else was coming to be fair, but it looks like it's just Ron and I. Uncle Ron. Oh, what's going on here? Got to oil my chain. Yesterday, after cleaning the bike with sieve to clean the cylinder head and barrel up, just because it was sort of stained, just through age, really, it's gone everywhere. The whole bike looks shite now because I did it with a brush, so it's sprayed everywhere as I've been dobbing it. So here we are in the Sussex countryside entering the Ashdown Forest, known for its beauty and its wildness, deer, sheep and the wild bull. Well they're not technically wild bull, they're cows. There was a lot of people out and about yesterday on their bikes, enjoying the East Sussex countryside. There's a little tea shop here that isn't anymore, I believe, or is it further down? Whee! I think it's further down. The road that we're on now goes back to the times of the Romans before they got rid of all their corners. Fair war. Fair enough. Now Ron is retired, I'm not. I'm still having to work because Ron paid attention at school and I didn't. So children, if you're studying at school and you're watching this as well, then you should be studying. Then like Ron, you'll be able to retire early. Unlike me, I shall have to work until I die. This is all part of the rip tapestry of life. Oh, something smelled really sweet then. It was almost jasmine-like. Jasmine. Nice. Hello. No number plate on the old Tesla. Must be Elon Musk. Sotje then. Those of you that don't acknowledge 
us, other riders, when we nod at you, it's just plain rude. Clearly you're not of the original biker ilk. I've got a heel and toe um, gear change on this, which I keep forgetting. Just something a little bit different. Could have got fuel. Now, since I cleaned the carb out on this, it's just a different bike. Definitely improved it in every way. Easier to start. Better acceleration. Just breathes better. Ah, sniff. Welcome to West Sussex, which is further over from East Sussex. Uncle Ron, he's a steady old rider. No chasing about with Uncle Ron. Oh, you plank. That's why English drivers are the best in the world, or think they are. But what was the point of doing that? You just covered us in bloody water, and bullied your way around. You potentially, unless we gave way to you, we'd have been in trouble. There we go. We're not sitting in this saddle to criticise and get stressed over the morons of life in their four-wheeled tin boxes. Because we will catch them up and give them the stare. Uncle Ron will give them an uncular chat. Which will culminate in him giving the V sign. And I don't mean for victory. Now I still haven't worked out whether my Hagen shocks, which are a 28-10 or 28-20 model. So they have the normal adjustable spring and then I think it's what they call rebound damping. There's a little tumbler at the bottom and I just can't really work out to get the best from it. I feel that when I'm riding this sometimes that um, if I get on a bump um, it, it bounces but it wallows, it doesn't really bounce straight so it's almost like one of the shock absorbers is either isn't working or one is working better than the other. So you get this uneven bounce. So if anybody has a pair of shock absorbers that they don't need, um, contact me. There's a sign for Billinghurst just back there. I must check my rear brake as well. Keeps whining at me. Come on darling. I don't mind being on your back door. Come on maybe it's gold. This mirror is still playing me up. Bye. I feel like a hell's angel on this. Come on, come on, come on. The medieval town of the shore.
I've got a friend called Kevin Shaw. He lives up here. That's why I said that. Uh, he'll never see this. So I can abuse him all I like. I like this exhaust now. I like the other one. But I like this one better. Mainly because the outlet is not virtually underneath my foot. Uh, it's further back, so the sound is further back. Feel free to list in the description below your ideal breakfast. I will be having a full English. Because I deserve it. Ron's getting away from me. Not sure exactly where we are. A uh, cow fold. So we're out of cow fold. And we're in between, so. Anyway, we're not far away from our breakfast destination. Oh, we're going this way as well. Through me. <laughs> well, here we are. Welcome to Billy's Cat. I have been here. Now, why did I come here? Oh, I came here to do some pictures. That's right. I did an article for um, the paper I was working for. And we did a load of photographs of here, um, showing off their new menu or something. <laughs> no, I suppose it's probably because of the week. Okay, yeah. That was quite chilly, really. Yeah, I was thinking that. I only had a. Uh, I've only got a t-shirt on under this, and I've got no grit, heated grips. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot warmer than that. Like the last couple of days have been really... And it's still early I suppose. Yeah. Billy's on the road. Right, so we're at Billy's Cafe uh, at Billingshurst. Um, yeah, so we made it. Everything's good. We're going to have a big breakfast. And um, then we'll be getting on our way. We didn't want to stay late, just a quick ride out. Just for a bit of fun, really. But uh, it's quite a nice little diner. And the weather's been good. The temperature's rather cold, actually. But anyway, we'll have our breakfast and we'll be on our way. Right, so we've gone for the Billy's Big Breakfast, haven't we, Ron? Yeah. Very good. So here we go, and then we're going to shoot off. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, there we go, there again next year, they say. Right, so off we go home. £10.30 for a big breakfast and um, £3.40 for a couple of teas. Not bad at all. Right, so we're going to go back to where we came.
Yeah. All right. Petrol. You get petrol? Yeah, yeah go on. Yep. What yep. Was it? I was just binding a bit because I tightened it up at the uh, cafe. Well, the break. Yeah. So it's just getting a bit hot and binding, so I needed to loosen it off. All oh, right. That's all right now. Yeah. Thanks for coming out this morning. That's all right. Do we do it again? Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'll follow you. I'll follow you until. Until you turn off. Yeah. All right, okay, mate. Again, yep. Take care. <laughs> well, there we go. Splash and dash. Okay? okay? Let's do it. So I've been looking for shock absorbers for this and actually, do you know what, I think I'm going to leave it because it actually seems to be okay. Well, thank you for joining on my little journey. The T Sussex Park is saying, Thank you and goodbye from me and Uncle Ron. And we'll see you soon on the next one. Cheers, goodbye.